Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 5 of Stellaris Unity 3.3 One Planet Challenge, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Will they back me if I attack? No. That's not what a defensive pact is. That would be a federation. But so, so I'll explain that real briefly. A defensive pact means that if someone declares war on me, they will defend me too. They are obligated to come to my aid if I am the victim of a war declaration. For me to have allies that go to war with me, uh, a someone in a defensive pact you can invite, but they're not obligated. If you're in a federation, when you try to declare war on someone, everybody has to agree to the war, or the majority have to agree to the war. So if your federation decides to go to war with the target, um, everyone in that federation will be obligated to do it. But that also means that you're not necessarily in control about who you go to war with because your Federation allies might just say no. All right, so I'm offering a defensive pact with Yonderim, and they will accept. And my Admiral just died. Bummer. New Admiral. Mansrin, congrats. And then we'll raffle off some of that northern territory that he names. So that would be Kazan. He is now Told Man Mike. Tinyana is Morpheus. Morpheus, do you already have a territory? I don't think you do, actually. So Tinyana, Vec, and Hydem is Omega. So you're a governor and a territory. Right, you're still the governor, correct? No, you're not the governor. Where, what? Are you the destroyers? I don't know what you are. You had something named after you, I forgot what it was. All right, so we are in a defensive pack now. Um, I could have a... No, we are not good enough relations with Lazavada to have a defensive pack with them. It's hypothetically possible to have defensive pack with two people. Uh, but if you take a look at my influence, the defensive pack cost me one influence per month. So it's not exactly a cheap thing to keep up. Which is why you don't want, necessarily want a ton of defensive packs, because if you have a ton of defensive packs, you ha will have no influence left over to do anything else with. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I could consecrate two more worlds. Let me ask you if you want me to. I have three worlds here in Atlas, and I could consecrate two of them, because you can consecrate up to a total of three. So... Let's see if you want that or not. I can't... No, I don't really know if they're adding Unity. I'll be honest. I don't know where it says... That, that would be adding unity for me because I'm looking at my unity breakdown and it's not obvious I just I have to assume that it's happening but I don't know the actual numbers well another thing I need to do is I need to go to this uh, area quickly and uh, annex it, because it's on the border of Tizin and could be gobbled up quickly by them. So I'm going to have uh, this construction ship head south. In fact, I'm going to have that happen before I even make this starbase, because this starbase is not in limbo, but uh, this one is. And upgrade my ships. All right, you guys want the consecration, so let's do that. I'm going to try to consecrate the 13s here. So that's one 13. And then the other one. Okay, so we have three holy worlds now. Uh, let me see about planets and sectors. I don't know how to figure out if that's giving me stuff. 
Weird. So I can see the consecrated worlds here, but I have no idea what their unity gain is. I'm just going to assume that it's helping me, but that's the best I could do. Have I seen any code-breaking encryption in this beta? Um, I haven't yet, but I'll let you know if uh, I end up seeing that as an option. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, hold on one second. So, crystal mines are done. We are going to go for... Mining Station Outpost. And then there is Draconic Scale Investigation here. So, now that we have made some progress understanding xenobiology and exotic materials, our researchers have proposed that we send a science ship to take a closer look at the dragon. They are particularly interested in its scales, which are remarkably durable, even impenetrable. While we have acquired numerous natural shed samples, our scientists remain baffled as to how the scales form. Using what they describe as mildly intrusive probe, they believe they could get under the dragon's protective layer and directly study its natural processes. Surely, the dragon will want... Nah will not mine, surely. So either we could A, go ahead and study it, or try something less intrusive. I could either study it intrusively, or study it uh, remotely. There you go. I'll park this up here for you to vote. Oh, that's kind of in my way. And here, let's, uh, I'll show you the dragon again. So for people just tuning in, where is my dragon? Oh, here it is. Uh, no, that's not my dragon. Where is my dragon? Oh, yeah, it's at the sun. So there he is. Check my Empire screen for the Consecrated World bonus. Oh yeah, there it is. Monthly Unity 16, Amenities 8, Spiritual Attraction 16. Thanks! That helps. Oh! I am at war with Thorkel now. They declared war on Yonderim, and uh, I got pulled into it. So I'll be heading, as soon as my fleets upgrade, I'll be heading south to bust some heads. And uh, you guys want me to study remotely. So let's do that. And that is a special project, I assume? Yes, it is a project. And I'm going to send my scientists to go start that now. The one that was assisting research. Our ships have been improved. So Dom just got improved. And I'm going to head down to... Uh, Tauras. Waiting for Droiden to get improved. And then I'll help... Yonderim beat up Thorkel. Thorkel here, I'm rivals with, so I am down to fight. Ooh, Sasato Researcher just became my leader or something? Where'd you go? I don't know. What kind of research am I doing right now? New worlds? Mm. I'll get one that levels up quicker. So, your name is now Corrupted Droman. I lost the system left of the homeworld? I actually had never claimed it. I'll be doing that soon. And don't count your planets. Uh, I'm going to crack it open. So crack the egg. Start that now. Rather than the guaranteed resources, which doesn't help me because it's not my territory at the moment. Special project complete. Scans are completed and my societal research has gone up. Awesome. And then this researcher will go back to assisting research at the home world. So a free thousand or so societal research is kind of nice. Uh, I do have a free envoy. And they are going to represent me in the galactic community, which I am dead last in. Represent.
So Droiden just repaired, but they haven't upgraded yet. The Andari Trade Association is now claiming stuff. They just claimed Skyra and Orange Chaos. They, they're claiming all this stuff down here. Got to keep an eye on that. But I do have a de defensive pact, so I feel relatively protected. Also, uh, Krusty Oaf, thanks for the, the sub. And uh, Maysoon, Maysoon Lux, thanks for the sub as well. Thank you, guys. Here, let me put on a little Yoda for you. Our for, ships for have been camp. improved. Work schedule makes it hard for you to catch streams. But I got through your wisdom teeth being pulled. Oh, I had an unfortunate wisdom teeth pulling long, long ago. Hope you have a fast recovery. Heretic fleet detected. There's their fleet. Only a thousand. No problem. So what I'm doing now is I'm just sitting on their uh, starbase with both Dom and Droiden, uh, ready to be deployed. And let's say fascinating creatures. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. This is the Shardling Construction complete. It looks like they have uh, a bunch of fleets coming to aid down here in the south. And it's the only war that the Yandarim are at, so they're going to be paying attention to it, I assume. Ooh, more puppy treats? Dude. Buddy. There you go. It, yeah, it is a really nice choke. I'm glad I grabbed Ray and Orange Chaos and, and this choke here. Owning this allows me to control the east-west travel, which is pretty powerful. Uh, Yandar, wow, they're claiming everything. I think, whoa, they're big too. Special project complete. All right, so I finished the first stage of the thumb, uh, the fungal trail. The next stage takes me. I have no idea. I don't see it blinking. It, I see plate glass blinking. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. All right, you go to the debris. Ooh, their fleets got there first, though. So Tauros is getting torn up. Uh, so I'm probably going to idle my fleets here at Ray Curva, not committing to this defense until I'm together. I don't want to suffer losses that I don't need to suffer. Uh, back home, let's figure this out. What am I lacking? I'm pretty low on consumer goods. So I could build a civilian industry to aid in that. Hmm. Or I could go additional research or temple. What should I build? Have you voted on that? So where, let me turn off all of other tracking and see if I can't see the fungal trail here. Yeah, I see it at plate glass, but I don't actually see the fungal trail at plate glass. And I already have a scientist there, so I really don't know what's up. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Draconic communications. Following our successes in establishing communications with a number of alien species, one of our leading linguists has brought forth a radical proposal. Through past efforts to communicate with the Sky Dragon have failed miserably, she argues that now is the time to make another attempt. According to our earliest histories, there was a fabled accord between Yudarian and Dragon, after which the direct conflict ceased. Uh, citing this as proof that understanding on some level is possible, she notes that our recent experiences with utter, uh, utterly alien lifeforms make us better equipped now than ever. So our envoys uh, can try to talk to Dragon? Uh, okay. Where is this? 
All right, good luck, Heath Haw Hawthorne. You alliterative envoy with talking to a dragon. And you guys want more research. 10-4, copy that. Let's get a research lab going. More physics research. We will go with more research. Just double it down. Uh, so Tauros here looks good. It looks like uh, the allies rolled in. I'm going to go join them for some skull cracking. Yeah, it's Debris not a problem. Analyzed. Easily we we outnumber them. And at this point, I could just grab anomaly research up here until my borders are forced to close. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Building slots have gone up. And at this point, I'm going to go with additional starbase capacity, which will help me build more anchorages, which will open up my ability to have a larger navy. I'd also like to get the cr rare crystals mined at Y Horner. Construction complete. But I just don't have a constructor ready to do that at the moment, but uh, that's on my radar. Too. Construction complete. And I'm here after the fighting has stopped. Because, uh, of course. Ultimately, not a very useful ally. But I showed up. I showed up. I like how the portrait... <laughs> this is kind of funny. The, uh, the portrait for the dragon is not the dragon, it seems. It's like just a generic, like, unknown silhouette. But it's like, come on now. We've been staring at this thing for like a thousand years or something. We kind of know what it looks like. From Shroom to Cove. Still working on that at Plate Blast Armor. And here we are, trying to aid our allies, being a good ally. Coming to their aid. Retaking territories that they had lost. Uh, as far as this war is concerned, we are doing better than they are significantly. They're getting their butts kicked. And that's good. I'm glad I was able to help turn the tide a bit. There's something new to vote on. Repeal? No. Try to move the scientists away from the shroom system and go back. Uh, that's probably what it is, but I, I want them to keep going the archaeological site, because that's probably more urgent anyway. At least more interesting. Special project complete. Ooh la la. That added a ton of societal research that is not my system. Bummer. Major Mildew, thanks for the resub. Have I salvaged allies debris? Can you salvage? Uh, no. You can only salvage debris that you yourself destroyed. So if, like, I destroy another fleet, no one can salvage that but me. It's the law of destruction, I guess, in the galaxy. It's interesting that you can't, like, snipe other people's salvage. There's no fire flying it up. For better or for worse. It will be our system eventually. It actually looks like it's going to be uh, Corinth's. And then maybe ours. Construction complete. We have another building slot here. So what should I build? More research, temple, or consumer goods? Our consumer goods are almost in the negative. So that might have to be the priority. But I don't know. It will be up to you. I could always buy them or whatever. I have so much excess resources right now. It's kind of obscene. I'd rather just be wealthy for a bit. There's not a lot that I could put it to at the moment because our bottleneck is influence in annexation. And I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more systems to annex, which is not that much. Plus, uh, Jelen, I guess. Eventually. All right. 
I, I'll, uh, I'm not even going to bother timing this. I'll just do the consumer goods. Get rid of that pole timer. Natural lattices. Ooh, we just got a bunch of uh, nanites. Well, from where? From Ryak? Sweet. Every time I say Ryak, I think of uh, Tilk. Because his son was named Ryak. And there was an episode of Stargate where he's just like... He yells Ryak a whole lot because he's having like nightmares or something. So every time I, I hear the name Ryak, I think of Tilt. Special project complete. And there it is the sensor malfunction, which improves Ugron, which again doesn't really help me yet, but maybe eventually. So now these researchers are going to get these last two anomalies and then we're going to bounce out of Tizen Empire's territory because uh, I'm going to get kicked out of the territory in five years, one way or another. Now, no. Oh, I almost have enough uh, influence to make claims on their territory. Oh, there's a dimensional horror that I'll have to go around. So hold on, before before I jump into the dimensional horrors territory, let me close the borders to that so I don't go smushing myself. And I'm going to say, uh, fiends test our faith or proof of the divine. I don't know. You decide. Is the dimensional horror something to test our faith, or is it proof that there is divinity? You pick. I'm, I'm indecisive here. Oh, there's an archaeology site that we can disrupt. There's actually a few of them. Now, they have not... Yeah, they haven't started this. Which is interesting. They just have lazy scientists, I guess. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Let's go for... Plastil Armor. Construction complete. Situation log updated. All right. Beans test are faith. Thank you for voting. As far as I could tell, this war is a foregone conclusion. I don't really see that they have a fleet offering up Special any sort of defense. Special project complete. Just trying to figure out what I do with my scientists now. Uh, the border to the Fallen Empire is closed. Oh, there's P aliens. Sure, I'll investigate that. So this scientist now, this one, I guess could go to Y Horner and start that archaeology site. The dragon is ghosting me. <laughs> it seems like it. He's a hard one to, to learn how to speak to. That's for sure. Situation log updated. And now we have the civilian industries, and at the end of this month, our consumer goods should be balanced a little better. Yep, up 16. That's good. Oh, so I'm going to kill their scientists that were trying to get the archaeology sites. I'm literally disrupting it in real time. That's great. No relics for you! Now, if only I had enough... Um, Influence to make claims on them and just snipe the uh, relics out from under them. Special but project that takes complete. A lot. So Zach Dyer is done, and I don't really have any scientist science stuff for him to do. So I think Zach Dyer is going to come south in case there's debris for me to analyze. And Moles, thanks for the resub. Welcome. 
new tradition. So, choices here would be harmony, which is the spiritualist tradition, or supremacy. And I'll let you know exactly what you're voting on. So, harmony. I could include some others, too. I'm going to include adaptability. And prosperity. Uh, and mercantile. So, harmony is here. Adopting it allows us to use less food and use less minerals for upkeep. Finishing it off reduces my empire sprawl, which allows me to get more traditions and whatnot. It has stuff like leader lifespan, edicts fund goes up significantly, maybe allowing us to have research. Um, utopian dream for extra stability, governing ethics goes up, and um, people can change the strata of their, their jobs a little bit more easily. If I went with supremacy, we get a larger navy capacity, my army does more damage, I get war doctrine policies if I finish it, uh, ships build faster, They, I command more ships in one fleet, the upkeep goes down, the capacity goes up, these ship fire rates go up, these star bases I destroy a little bit easier. If I go adaptability, uh, housing usage is lowered, uh, food output is increased, it's harder to bombard me. Habitability goes up, which is worthless, by the way. Uh, fr free building slots, pretty useful. Resettlement costs, again, that's useless because I don't resettle. I have one colony only, unless I get uh, habitats, which we haven't decided on. Uh, mercantile. Oh, you know what? I should probably include diplomacy, but... Because um, that allows me to, to make federations. But uh, mercantile is for trade. Prosperity is for mining. M diplomacy is for federations and envoys. And I'm just going to say it at that so I don't have to spend the next hour explaining it all. So, Harmony, Supremacy, Adaptability, Prosperity, Mercantile, or Diplomacy, and you have two and a half minutes to vote. Well, I shoot the scientists. Yes, you best be leaving the system, dude. Now, as far as my factions go, my spiritualists are happy, except for the fact that I don't have Mind Over Matter, which is the pursuit of psionics. And my militarists are unhappy that I don't have Conquest, which is funny, because I'm literally at a war right now. They also want me to be an overlord of someone or kill the Leviathan, which is not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, Shona, you just died. Of old age. We have a new scientist named... Uh, Slayer, do you already have some? Yeah, you're already a scientist, so I'm going to rename you Mr. Elk. It'd be really confusing to have two scientists with the same name. I don't even see the blinking of the fungal trail anymore. Let me zoom all the way out and try to find it again. Oh, it's gone. Someone else must have hit it. I didn't get to it in time. Shots. You're rather surprised you're still alive? Yeah. You've stuck around a while. So here are the uh, relic sites, the archaeology sites, that I've been just taking over milita militarily. With my navy. Just to mess with them in a way that probably bothers them. In a, uh, so. Here's the Numistic Order. That would be a new enclave that I've uh, contacted. And I'm headed to Hixar to mess with this archaeology site, too. Yeah, because it's not done yet. <laughs> oh, this is the fun. spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, so adopting harmony lowers my food and mineral upkeep. And then we'll uh, invest in harmony. What did I just get? Society research. 
starbase capacity. So I should build two starbases soon. And let's go ahead and get hydroponic farms and head over here and switch my agricultural district for an industrial one because I have a lot of excess food. For my new star bases, Scrap code and Vural. Vural needs a name. Rogue Viking. You're a governor and a system. Rogue Viking and Shertan both have good trade value. So maybe I make a base here to grab this trade value. And then I don't have Shertan yet. Garwadden. Uh, needs a name as well, so that will be Freddy. Uh, actually, Freddy Atos, you already have a system, don't you? Yeah, you do. So I'm going to reroll that. Would you kindly watch, Chelsea? That's your system, and this system needs a name as well. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, actually Beavis. I'm going to name it after you because I lost the other Beavis. So I guess what I'll set a rule is: if I lose a territory when it's recaptured, I'll rename it. I'll reroll it. it makes a lot of sense. So the second base I set up, I could have it be Omega, but I'm a little worried that even that two trade value is going to cause a lot of piracy. So I think I'm going to wait for Shurtan here. And I'll start building star bases out to Shurtan. Ooh, there's a lot of science down there. Where's the scientist that was supposed to come down here? Oh, like a thousand hops away. Okay, well, that'll be a while. Construction complete. Kind of looks like I'm guarding the core. It really does. Me and my ally are cover about, uh, what would you say, like 270 degrees of the core, and then the wildlings cover probably another 15 degrees or 20 degrees or so. Basically, that big black hole in the middle of the galaxy is mine. <laughs> More or less. Ooh, are we talking to the dragon now? The event, incoming dragon speech. An alien empire now speaks to us in the language of the divine. Dovakin. Usrolda. Okay, cool. We talked to the dragon. I don't know what it's saying to me, other than... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, um, so there was a scandalous insult. We have caught a delegate from the Lazavada Coalition in a rare blunder, letting slip that their empire's true feelings about us. Um, so either I can be outraged and Yodarian, my opinion of them drops by 60, or I'm just going to spend the influence to smooth this over. Because the Lazavada keep me protected from a lot of hostile empires up north. And then Drifting Fleet. Yeah, let's gain a small fleet of Marauder ships. And here they are. A cruiser, two frigates, and four raiders. Like that. I'm going to send them south. And let's go to Hixar and mess with their uh, archaeologists. That's just been a lot of fun. Construction complete. Nothing yet has come of that dragon speak, if you're wondering. Can I talk to the dragon, though? Is it... Oh! Laws of Ada's at war with Tizen. So they might be actually mopping the rest of Tizen up. Sweet. Yeah, they're capturing stuff. Teason's screwed. Teason lost all their west to Corinth, which is a little unfortunate because that means I can't get it back unless I go to war with Corinth, but maybe I do that sometime in the future. And then their east is being captured by Lazavada, so basically Teason is dead. And... 
These mechanoids just opened up their border to me. Uh, okay. I, I don't really care. So we've just grabbed Hixar, kicking their scientist out from Azua's Breath, which was a relic site. An archaeology site. Not necessarily a relic. And this war that I'm in right now... The spirits have granted us new We're not that wisdom. close to wrapping up just yet. Let me get interstellar fleet traditions. That's going to help with my uh, my naval capacity, which is really, really bad right now. The dragon rebuked me. Was that right? Well, my envoys don't aren't doing anything, so A, I should probably have them do something. I also have all these... Yeah, let's do the Space Amoeba drone and crystalline studies now. And put my envoys to work in the galactic Because I am third place now. Ha! Almost fourth. Rise. Construction complete. So here's Rogue Viking. This is going to be the Rogue Viking or the Rouge Viking uh, Anchorage. Guess I've been saying that wrong the whole time. And let's keep uh, keep on the warpath up here. I've been messing these guys up. Where's my scientist? Man, you are slow. You're very slow. Yeah, my capital building's happy. My economy's looking good. Nanite actuators. Yeah, let's turn that on. I got free nanites. I might as well use up the nanites with extra for extra research speed until I run out of nanites, which will be in like 200 months, which is kind of a while. Construction complete. Oh, x Slayer, you died, finally. Replacing you with uh, some spark of genius person named Mass Convergence. That works. Let's move Mass Convergence into the Sasato Research position. And then... Corrupted Droman as the excavator. You're a scientist in real life, too. I know. You're a weather wizard. What was this guy doing? Oh, oh, they have a fleet that blocked me. Yeah, it's not going to work very long. All right, uh, sca salvage fleet. Let's get a new admiral for you. I'll put a trickster admiral. This trickster admiral will be named Nufi Edge. Nufi, I did just get your message, but because I'm streaming, I complete. can't respond right now. Uh, and we'll go with uh, evasion. So now my I have a trickster who's extra good at evading. I like it. My war fleet's here. Just got repaired, and we'll continue on. We're almost ready to finish status quo, but uh, my guess is Yandarim... Well, this was a defensive pact, actually. Now that I think about it, well, they declared war on me because I was pulled into it. If Yadarim declared war on them, I wouldn't have been obligated pulled. And they got smoked. Let me go repair. They have two fleets. Oh, no, they have three fleets. I gotta be a little, little careful there. They do outpunch me. Construction complete. So Rouge Viking... 
Anchorage is done, and I'm no longer over my fleet capacity, which is not hurting my sprawl Construction or anything like that. Construction complete. I do have some influence now, so let's see if I can't use it. Oh. I'm gonna take your archaeology site. <laughs> yes! Uh, okay, so let's update the goal here. Win the war against Thorkel. They're not happy about that, I'm sure. Next, I'm going to try to get Ophel. I basically want their archaeology sites for myself, if, if I can swing it. So, 30 more, 34 more influence, and I'm going to go for Ophel. Complete. So a bunch of these special projects into the drones and the amoeba and all that, that's all wrapping up now. And this archaeological site. One of them finished. At plate glass it's finished. What did it even give me? Oh, uh, it's the desiccated mushroom chain. Got it. I won't spoil it, but uh, that's going to become relevant later. I'm going to send the Carefree Anomaly Researcher up into Lazavada's uh, territory, because I haven't really discovered special what's here. Special project complete. And now all my special projects are done, so we're going to go back to normal research. Okay, um, I don't want a ther authoritarian attraction, so I'm going to let the mushrooms be for a lot of unity, which gives me a tradition. Let's get a uh, leader lifespan increase so that we don't have our old leaders die as easily. Oh boy, this is a big fight. Oh, I caught them off guard again. Oh! Correct. I am really good at doing that. This one was not planned quite like that. Oh, delicious. All right, go repair. Yeah, go repair up at uh, Toas. Er, um, no, grab the grab the station first. All right, Dom and Jordan are ready to go again. So let's keep rolling. And my scientists are reverse engineering some stuff, which is cool. Construction complete. We're about to get Shurtan, which I'm going to put a starbase there. But I have another starbase capacity. Oh, we are at peace. So I only got Karos. Shucks. I was so close to get more. But hey, that's, uh, that's at least one relic site that we totally sniped. And not only that, but the Yonderim... Um, completely cut them off in a big way here. So that's pretty hilarious. Uh, so my fleets now are going to go back to Yodarian Prime, uh, eyeballing the space amoeba that are at Jelen once they're repaired up and on. Debris so analyzed. Her priority is fill in territory again. I'm still behind on that. <laughs> How am I doing scoreboard-wise? I'm climbing! I'm not dead last! The Tizins are now behind me, and I'm very close to Lazovada. I'm just a few points... They're just a few points ahead of me, so... 
We're making gains. One Planet Challenge is brutal. I haven't uh, I haven't tried the One Planet Challenge in like a long time. I have a uh, well, let me look up when I did it last. It has been a long time. November of 2018 was the last time I tried a One Planet Challenge because I have a YouTube series on it. So, three and a half years ago, or three years ago, you can change. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Teasing is no longer a valid uh, rival because I guess they're dead now. Oh man, if they get absorbed, all of this territory goes. Whoop. Do they have a homeworld? They're occupied right now. Yep. Be careful on Shurton. Uh, Shurton borders a um, uh, borders a uh, fanatic materialist. It doesn't border a military isolationist. So Shurton should be fine for me to add. It's not going to piss anyone off. It's not going to piss off the uh, fall uh, the fallen empire. <laughs> Not my first rodeo, I thought of that. But thank you for your concern. Construction complete. All right, shirt. Done. And then if uh, if I'm getting shirt in, I guess I could go with scrap code then. Because, um, oops, don't listen to that. Uh, because I have two more star bases to do. The scrap code will become another star base. Trying to get as much trade value as I can. And scrap code's worth more than Omega up here, so... The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right. I'm going to go for hyperdrives so I can jump faster. And... Ooh, star holds, I think. Over railguns. So I can have uh, bigger stations. What is named after you? Uh, Nufi, you are a scientist, I believe. No, uh, you're an admiral. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. All right, next up, let's go with... How's my amenities? Okay, I'm going to research uh, artificial moral codes for additional amenities, because Yodarian Prime is not... That doesn't have a lot of amenities. The other thing I could do is... Um, if I go to species here, I could set my rights by living standards to social welfare. So what that does is um, right now my rulers have plus 10 happiness, my specialist has plus 5. What social welfare would do is to have all of my population have plus 10. It would cost me more consumer goods but everyone would be a little bit happier and therefore my, my one world would be a little bit more stable. Should I adopt social welfare. Yes or no. It's up to you. So the way happiness works is happiness relates directly to uh, unity and influence because the happier your population is, the more unity that you will be able to generate, uh, which is seen here in the happiness and approval of my, um, my factions. And then also it reduces the chance that rebellions and stuff like that, but I'm nowhere near. You know, it, that's that's not a risk for me. I want to make it clear. And uh, let me put a timer on that. Okay, interesting. Teasen became a vassal under Awful Jor. So Awful Jor is up here. Teasen basically disappeared, and this is a remnant blob that they own. But but essentially, Teasen is just this system and this system, and that is it. But if I want to go to war with them and absorb this blob, I'd have to go to war with authority of the authority of Awful Jor, uh, who I have no idea how strong they are. Complete. But I can sort of. 
they're the yeah okay they're the strongest in the galaxy so that would be a bad idea until I'm a little bit stronger myself debris analyzed construction complete all right, so there's Shurtan, and we're going to make a star forward out of this so I can collect the trade value. And the Nightbot uh, Bastion protects that perfectly. Ooh, new aliens. Uh, that's an Enclave, but possibly the Curator Enclave, which would help with our research. So I'm going to make contact. Uh, there's something to vote on. Collective Waste Management, sure. I support that. And you guys want social welfare, it looks like. So let me set that up. Even though the timer's not done, I don't see that flipping. It's a vast majority. So decent conditions up to social welfare. So what you'll see is um, the result of this at the end of the month is you'll see my stability go up, which increases the amount of resources I get for the job and the trade value and the immigration and all that. And then my consumer goods will go down. So I'm basically spending consumer goods for stability and resources. Pretty good trade, I think. I'm almost done filling in all the territory. Construction complete. Just have a few more left, and th these things need to be raffled off. So, Shinneman, you're going to get construction complete. This system. Night Knave, I believe you already have a system. Yep, you do. Pull Matt Bot. Fine, Pull Matt Bot. You'll take Shurton. Self assigned twice. Amater Seth, you'll take Jinkath. And is that it for now? Oh, uh, this system there. And Vermilion. So I have two more. Construction complete. Frostlight, you already have something. Quarasol. There you go. And Vermilion. Fangface. Uh, Fangface, you were a scientist, so I believe this is your first system. I'm trying not to have people to have duplicate systems, because then it gets really confusing. If people make claims on things that have two names. So, piracy. Construction nothing. complete. So this is the scrap code Anchorage. Thank you for tuning in to the Stellaris One Planet Challenge playing the Unity 3.3 beta branch that is out for testing. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, and Discord has events, which contains my upcoming streams as well. Links to both can be found in the description of the video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers for supporting the channel and viewers like you, which like, subscribe, and comment. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, spacefarers.